Jim, is this a, a project that you helped bring to, to the uh, U.S.? Uh, actually, I didn't, but I'm going to help sell the format rights for the American version, but not the Israeli version. I'll ask, I'll ask you the, the same question that I asked him. Uh, do you sense a risk that it might be promoting the Mossad as a potential that people might use as a scapegoat for in the Arab world, things going bad? It's a television show. I think it's fine. It's a fictitious television show. There are other Mossad shows. There's False Flag. There's other ones. There's always been Mossad shows. There always will be. It's a really fun um, show that it combines suspense with lightness. It's unusual. On the other hand, is it a show that you think may bring respect and honor to Israeli uh, undercover services? I think the Mossad usually does. Usually. But they have never been given uh, visibility like this. I think that the... I, I don't know the history of stuff on television regarding the Mossad. But it's a very hot topic, and there's been a lot of things about the Mossad. So, you're going to be speaking after the uh, screening on a panel. Yes, I'm going to be moderating the panel. What will you be talking about? Israeli television, uh, American television, the intersection amongst the two. Why Israeli television so um, desirable in America? You'll have to listen and watch.